All right, welcome back. We are in Forever Skies, and I'm going to show you a little trick today, and the trick is that thing right here. So, normally, this is one of my test rigs, the test rig that I don't know that I'll ever complete. Uh, normally, it has these yellow X's, and they're a pain in the butt. They look unsightly. It's cool that they do it. I understand why they do it, but we need a better way to remove them. So, the original, and uh, the way most people will do this, is they'll find... A railing they'll pop a railing in there and boom it's gone great yay but now I have a railing in my way so it's not necessarily the best option unless you're doing like a um, some type of maybe a lookout post or something on your ship and this is fitting to have that there great but what if you don't want it that way so I was shown this by Joni. She is on the Discord for Forever Skies. Uh, really cool gal, and she makes some great ships. You should check out uh, Joni's Blimpy on the uh, Forever Skies Discord. And to be honest, I haven't figured out the rhyme or the reason as to how exactly to replicate it every single time. So what you have to do is you have to use these full pieces. I don't know that it works with the bloom ones. I don't have the bloom ones on this test rig because I barely drive it around at all. What I have found is if you just delete it right here in the center mass inside, sometimes outside, it'll go back. Or this time it didn't go back because reasons. And if we do this, and we'll pick another spot here. And then this time, what I have been finding is if you highlight right over this, it seems to work the best. So put this here. And I also can't figure out if you should do it on the outside or you should do it on the inside. Because I seem to get it to work both ways sometimes. And not both ways every time. And it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but it's a very cool result that we can make even cooler, if you can believe that. How freaking cool is that? I mean, that's just awesome. And all with plate... Now, when you have them in a line, I'm having a little bit of a trouble trying to replicate. So, like, I'm trying to get this one, and that one, and that one, and that one here's where I'm having the issue with it so if I do this it do, does both of them when I nuke it it won't nuke both of them it, it one of them goes back so now let's go to this one so the way I did it on this one is I nuked this right side so if I what happens if I nuke this left side it's weird it's like <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it uh, I can't I cannot determine an exact cause, reaction, or anything in how to get this to replicate. And and why is it going this direction and and here, let's let's uh let's try down here. See if we can get this. Start with that one. Start from the outside. That worked. Now what happens here? Yeah, no, let's go to this like you would. See now, I put it back. I just, I just don't even get it. Okay, now it stayed. So, am I gonna have to do this one twice? Probably. <laughs> Is it just gonna make me do them over and over again? So it looks like it's linear. Alright. So we did get it to work, and it does appear to be linear. It was only going this direction. If I tried to go this direction, it would fall back one. So you could start probably start from that end and come this direction, or start from this end and go that direction, but you can't... It doesn't seem you can mix and match. So this gives you... Now, whether you're doing this for the 500 kilo challenge or not is irrelevant. This gives you kind of the uh, false room effect, even though it's not because you can still see the uprights. 
even if I put the floors So you can get a little bit of the false room. This is why I, I pretty much can't ever... I don't know that I can finish this one because that whole upper section is all false room all the way up on both sides. And so I don't know that I'll ever be able to finish... I definitely can't replicate this until they give us a new option. But that whole upper section is being held up with false room only. Nothing else. And that whole thing up there is that technique, but with the railings, just like I said, if you wanted to make an outpost or a lookout post. So yeah, that is a way that you can get these really cool structures on your ship, save some weight, not have to be able to do a window or a door. Maybe you just don't want a window, door, or a wall. You just want this kind of open pergola effect right in the center of your ship just for something neat, you know? This gives you that option. Thanks for watching.